Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another fascinating video on our channel. Today, we delve into a curious topic that has puzzled the world, why did North Korea ban its citizens from laughing? And more importantly, what role did Kim Jong-un play in this unusual directive? Hey there, everyone! I'm thrilled to have you join me on this captivating journey as we explore the enigmatic world of North Korea. Now, let's get right into it! To understand the ban on laughter in North Korea, we must first grasp the historical and cultural context. The nation has long been shrouded in secrecy, with the ruling Kim family tightly controlling information and suppressing dissent. That's right! The notorious Kim dynasty has held power for decades, and Kim Jong-un, the supreme leader of North Korea, continues his legacy. He exerts tremendous control over his citizens, shaping every aspect of their lives, including their emotions. In North Korea, expressions of joy, like laughter, are seen as a threat to the regime's authority. The government believes that a happy populace could undermine the strict obedience and conformity it demands from its citizens. So, to maintain control, Kim Jong-un issued a directive banning laughter. But how did he enforce such an unusual rule? The North Korean government employs an extensive propaganda machine to propagate its ideologies and maintain control over the population. State-controlled media constantly reinforces a narrative that emphasizes the regime's power and portrays their leaders as infallible. And through this propaganda, the government aims to replace laughter with unyielding loyalty to the regime. As a result, Citizens are taught to suppress their natural emotions, as laughter and happiness could be perceived as defiance or a lack of loyalty to the supreme leader. They are expected to focus solely on the glorification of the state and its leaders. Growing up in North Korea, we were constantly reminded that our happiness should stem from our dedication to the regime. Laughter was seen as a sign of disrespect or disloyalty. It was a constant struggle to hide our true emotions. Wow, that must have been incredibly challenging. But I can't help but wonder, how did the ban on laughter impact the lives of ordinary citizens? The ban on laughter created an atmosphere of fear and constant surveillance. North Koreans learned to live in a state of constant vigilance, censoring their expressions and interactions to avoid punishment. So, laughter became a luxury that North Koreans could not afford. Absolutely! This ban on laughter stifles the natural human need for emotional release and connection. It creates a sense of isolation and despair, further perpetuating the regime's control over the population. But is there any hope for change? Is there a possibility that laughter will once again be welcomed in North Korea? Despite the oppressive regime, the human spirit is resilient. Over the years, there have been small acts of defiance, with citizens finding ways to express their happiness clandestinely. There is always a glimmer of hope for change. As outsiders, it's important for us to shed light on these issues and encourage open dialogue. By sharing stories and raising awareness, we can contribute to a brighter future for the people of North Korea. And that brings us to the end of this thought-provoking video. I hope it has shed some light on the ban on laughter in North Korea and the impact it has on its citizens. Remember, Understanding the world's complexities helps us build bridges and foster empathy. Join us next time as we continue our exploration of captivating topics from around the globe. Thank you all for watching, and until next time, stay curious and keep seeking knowledge.